Hi there. I have about 15 years of experience in the IT industry. I have spoken to a couple of my friends during the last week or so. These are friends from the start of my career and I have not been in touch with them really. So I have not spoken to them in the last decade or so. And what I have realized is they are not really understanding the change which is happening in the Indian IT services industry. There is a big change which is happening at the Indian IT services industry and a lot of jobs are at risk. Indian IT industries have been largely successful until now. They have been growing at almost 30 to 50 percent growth for more than a couple of decades now. This is really unprecedented amount of growth for such a long period. However, in the recent years, they are hit by a number of roadblocks. A number of changes have been happening in the industry, which means the Indian IT services industry has to adapt. In this video, Let's get a background of the Indian IT industry, understand what has changed, what are the consequences because of this and what can you do to come out of it really well. As we discussed earlier, Indian IT industry has been growing at almost 30 to 50 percent for the last two decades. The success of the Indian IT industry is largely based on something called the pyramid model. The pyramid model involved using a lot of freshers, a lot of one to three year experienced developers at the bottom most level and making sure you have a number of layers above them to ensure that the delivery which goes in is of a good quality. Most of the delivery happened in waterfall model. Because of this pyramid model and the huge growth, the IT companies had to recruit a lot of freshers. There are large IT companies which goes to a campus and almost recruit 50% of the students in there. So this led to mass recruitment of freshers. One more consequence of the huge growth was that as we got a lot of freshers, we needed a lot of leads managers to manage them. So it meant we needed a lot of leads and managers who are not really technical. These are folks who just manage people and these guys do not really understand technology. So there was a need for a lot of leads and managers who manage these freshers. And over a period of time, the consequence was programming or coding was really seen as the first step to become a lead or a manager. So a lot of these freshers who come into the IT company kind of think I would program for a few years and then I would become a manager. So these guys do not really want to be an expert at what they are doing. I mean, I'm not talking about everybody. There are really a few good programmers who have a strong passion for it. but. A major part, a major chunk of these freshers saw coding as the first step to being a lead or a manager. So during these two decades, the attitude of a big percentage of people was like join the company as a fresher, code or test for a few years, then become a lead or a manager. So in this particular model, you don't really need to be an expert at what you do. So there was no benefit in being an expert at what you are doing. You just do what you are asked to do and you are fine. Everybody was happy because everybody was growing. I mean, the companies were growing at 30 to 50 percent and this provided growth parts to the associate as well because the freshers become leads, leads becomes managers, managers becomes director and so on and so forth. However, in the last few years, things have really started to change. We are no longer growing at 50 percent. 10 to 20 percent became the standard. This has really started to hit the profitability of the companies because the pyramid model depends on a lot of growth. So unless you have a lot of growth, you would not be able to sustain the pyramid model. The pyramid model needs a big recruitment of freshers, which you cannot do if you're not really growing. And the other thing which has hit the industry big time is agile. A big proportion of the clients started embracing the agile way of executing projects. And agile projects have a really flat structure. They don't need as many leads or project managers. In an agile project, you either code or test or do something technical. Also, agile comes in with a number of modern development practices like unit testing, test driven development, behavior driven development, continuous integration, and a lot of other stuff. So these new team members are expected to be expert programmers. Not just somebody who does what they are asked to do, but they are expected to understand what's happening and react to that. A thing which you'd see in all the ITA projects today is a huge amount of client interviews. Earlier, pro probably one in 100 projects had a client interview. But today, I think more than half the projects 
have client interviews before you recruit somebody into the project. So the things which have changed in the last few years are A, the growth has been really slowing down. And two, the agile model has become more and more prevalent. What are the consequences? What happens when growth so slows down and agile model takes over? So how do the ID companies improve their profitability? There are a few options. One is this talk about non-linear revenue. I mean, you try and automate a lot of things so that you can do a lot of things per employee and you get more profit. I would really love the IT industry to be successful at doing this, but at least the numbers as of now do not suggest this has been a great success. What are the other options? The other options the IT companies have to increase their profitability is to A, delay promotions or delay salary increases. That's been quite prevalent. Actually, a lot of my friends have been talking about it. The amount of growth in the salaries, let's say for people who have joined the companies recently, is much lesser than the amount of growth for people earlier. What are the consequences for managers and leads? The main consequence is that there is less demand and more supply. Less demand because there is very less growth because in Agile, you don't really need managers or you don't really need a lot of managers as in a waterfall project. More supply because as the experience grows, as the time goes on, you have more and more people who are non-technical who wants to be who want to be a manager or lead. So as in any less demand, more supply kind of scenario, this would lead to less promotions or less salary growth. And at worst, even the job safety is at risk. And what does it mean to a developer? To a developer, it means that coding is no longer the option or the means to become a manager. It was never meant to be. It might have worked in the last two decades, but I don't see it working in the future. Start developing a passion towards what you do, whichever language you program in, start developing an interest towards it, and try and become an expert at that. As we discussed, the consequences are IT companies want to be more profitable and the, more, the way they can become more profitable is putting their managers and leads at pressure and making their developers more technical. What should you do? The first thing you should do is recognize the fact that there's a change happening. The second thing is make sure that all your friends are aware of the change which is happening under your feet. The third thing is to make sure you take actions to make sure that you are relevant in the industry. The two actions you need to take are become more technical, get involved in the technical stuff and make sure you learn something every day. I was lucky with two things. One, I really had a passion for programming and made career choices which helped me retain it. I was in an environment which for the most part encouraged my choice. I know of a lot of my friends who are not really so lucky and are now in a very difficult place. And the worst part is that a lot of people are not recognizing the change which is happening under their feet. So do make sure that your friends are aware of the change which is happening and make sure you become as technical as you can.